Assalamualaikum, welcome back to my channel, Sugoit in Action. So in this video, I just want to talk about unpopular build for Paladin, which is Grand Cross build. And with this build, I wanna try grinding on Raedric Archer in Glaceham. Um, if we talk about this build, I don't really know this build is really efficient or not, since I never try it. Hopefully, this build is really good for grinding and also for PvP. As I know, Grand Cross skill have a debuff for enemy on PvP, which is really good to decrease their attack or magic attack. But yeah, it's only for giving a debuff to your enemy, nothing less, nothing more. But as I remember, if you combine with another skill like Battle Enchant debuff, I think it will be good for War of Aperium or Siege War. Furthermore, for this video, I just want to focus on grinding by Grand Cross build. Oh yeah, for other information, I'm gonna use Bahasa. Jadi bagi kalian yang mau top up di Free Life Origin si point, kalian bisa langsung kontak Faye di Discord atau di nomor WhatsApp yang tertera di picture ini, di gambar ini atau bisa langsung kontak via in-game name Rose prosesnya mudah dan responnya cepat jadi langsung aja slide into his IGN Rose or Discord or even his WhatsApp number happy top up guys okay continue to Grand Cross build I'm going to Knight Templar to 4 to find a good spot for this build. After play this game almost two years since Korean official server, I realized there are two spot, I mean two best spot for Redrick Archer. This is for the number one. Yeah, I think people already know for the sixth spot of Redrick Archer because I have uploaded about this spot for Magnus Exor since grinding for High Priest before. As you can see, for the Grand Cross damage, it reads almost 60k per one Grand Cross. This is really good because. Uh, Redrick Archer health point is only 100k ish. Then I will show you about the next spot for the 6 Redrick Archer. But on the next spot, the distance between two spots of Redrick is wider than previous spot. So this is the spot for the for another 6 spot of Frederick what you need to do is only kill it until we can uh, damage for the 6 Frederick Archer just like what I did <laughs> finally after I did some trials now I can damage for 6 Frederick Archer in one skill this will be sweet escape for Paladin for an alternative grinding except on our close because as I know our close it's really crowded. <laughs> so yeah, this can be your alternative grinding for your Paladin. But if you need another video about Paladin, you can try to click on my playlist. There's a lot of tips grinding for Paladin or even another job. So yeah, try to slide in on my playlist. I will drop the link on the description. Okay, now talk about the equip and the core for playing Grand Cross. In here you need to use Apocalypse Mark module. This is the must-have core for 
Clan Cross build. And actually there is another one, but I forget the name of the core. <laughs> because in here he didn't use it. Then how about the equip? Let's see. So for the upper head gear, he is using Merc Rabbit Helm. This will be increased damage to medium monster for 4% and butterfly cluster you can change with anything you want better with captain pipe and for the weapon imperial spear plus 15 this spear is combined with imperial shield it will increase the attack and magic attack plus 30% wow that's huge nice set and for the uh, armor actually if you want to focus on attack you can use tier set but in here he only using goibna set and for the accessories using nile rose with muka card <laughs> maximum awaken and for the costume you can change with anything you want also for the middle head gear <laughs> Goibnus armor with Sasquatch, I don't know why he is using that. This one is Imperial Guard. Combo with Imperial Spear. And also plus 15, wow. This character is so good. And other accessories using ring i think he still didn't get nile rose another nile rose then we talk about the skill build so the first job you can copy it like this for the grand cross build and for the second job don't forget to maximize your Grand Cross and this one is for the third job and you can use this build for PvP also since you can use Gloria Domini and Grand Cross to break the formation of enemies party but you need to have uh, what is it called I forget the name for use Poporing, the one who can use skill charge attack so what you need to do is use the charge attack into the crowd and then click the grand cross to reduce their magic attack and attack per 10% and then use Gloria Domini and don't forget to use your battle enchant that's already enough to giving debuff to your enemies and I think it's enough for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on to go it in action. Wassalamualaikum. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel to go it in action. Bye.